Hi, this is Sean. And this is Tim. We're going to deal with this problem right here. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty typical type of algebra problem uh, dealing with area. So Tim, do you want to read the question for us? Sure. The length of a rectangular room is 7 less than 3 times the width, which is W, of the room. Which expression represents the area of the room? Okay, so before we get overwhelmed by the algebra, I suggest drawing this shape and then thinking about what they're telling us, right? They're telling us that the length is, and here it is, it's 7 less than 3 times the width. And, and this means that, in my own, and you can see it here in the choices, they give you W. Length is being defined in terms of width, right? They don't tell you what the length is. They say, well, whatever the width is, the length is 7 less than 3 times that. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to label that here. I'll label this dimension as my width. So if this is my width, well, actually, this is going to be less than, 7 less than 3 times. So the length will be more, I think, than the width, yeah. maybe. So width will be here. And this is your length, and it, you could call it L, but we'll say that L equals, and here it's 3W minus 7. Most people, though, I think, tend to rush here and write something like this. Tim, do you want to explain why, why is this one incorrect over here, and when would it be correct? Like, how would you phrase this one? So this one I would phrase as 3 times the width less than 7. And the re <laughs> uh, yeah. And the reason why it's incorrect is because these two things are not equivalent. 3w minus 7 and 7 minus 3w are not the same. In fact, they're opposites. And in 3w minus, in 3w minus 7, you have 3 times the width, and then you're taking 7 away from it. So that's what the length represents in the problem. In right. The it's 7, it's 7 less than, it's, it's less... To get something less than you to subtract 7 from 3w. I, it's tricky because I think if you see 7 less and less, it triggers your response almost to the right subtraction. So be careful with that. Um, you know, as Tim was saying, it's 7 less than 3w, which is what you want. Um, so we want to represent the area of the room. My next step is to find the area. To find area, right? That's width times length. But here, area equals width times well, the length is what? It's 3w minus 7. So what's our next step here, Tim? Here we can use the distributive property and distribute w to both terms, each term being 3w and 7. So w times 3w is 3w squared, and w times 7 is just 7w. And we just keep the subtraction sign, and so it's 3w squared minus 7w. And Tim, do you want to explain the w squared? That, that trips some people up. Like, how did you get from this to w squared? Well, we can rearrange it to be, instead of w times 3 times w, to be 3 times w times w. And we can do the w times w first, which gives us w squared. And we just keep the 3 as the coefficient. Okay, thanks.